Companies have long sought to reduce their workforce through downsizing, outsourcing, and automation. The current wave of AI advancement is accelerating this trend. Despite criticism, AI technology like language models and robots are already replacing jobs and improving rapidly. This raises a concern for business owners. If all jobs are automated, who will buy their products? A recent study predicts that AI could impact almost half of all global jobs, potentially replacing 300 million positions in fields like law and engineering. For instance, nine robots now do the work of over 250 humans. The good news is that labor reduction strategies have already saved millions of man hours, making remaining workers more efficient. AI is another tool to get more work from fewer employees or replace entire teams. Even at Works Media Group, AI now handles tasks that used to require a part-time employee, showing how companies may not need or want to employ people for these simple jobs. A survey by research and advisory firm Metro-G found that companies not using AI in 2023 hired 89% more agents than those that did. Additionally, companies that implemented AI in contact centers laid off an average of 26.1% of their employees within a year. These figures highlight the significant impact of AI, especially in call centers, which have already been heavily affected by outsourcing, understanding, and automation. So while businesses may celebrate reduced headcounts and expenses, there is any downside. In 1914, Henry Ford doubled his factory workers' salaries to $5 per day, supposedly so they could afford to buy a Model T and boost company revenue. Although this is largely a myth, Ford's actual motive was to reduce turnover and prevent talent from joining competitors like Dodge. The story underscores a critical point without enough employed consumers, who will be left to buy the products companies produce? If employment rates plummet globally as they did in call centers from the study, companies will inevitably face reduced revenue. People without jobs won't have the same buying power, and even those still employed might cut back out of fear of future layoffs. However, there is potential business strategy for you as a hypothetical industry leader to avoid this issue. Focus on creating products exclusively for another wealthy business owners and divert resources away from those who can't offer anything a machine or a cheaper overseas worker can't do more efficiently. This might sound extreme, but it's already happening. And the video game industry provides a clear example. According to Grandview Research, the video game industry now surpasses the movie, music, and television industries combined in size thanks to the largely to the freemium pricing model. Most people play these games for free while a few, known as whales, spend thousands or even millions of dollars or in-game perks. Free users are still essential as they give whales an audience to impress with their purchases. This trend mirrors broader economic shifts. Those with significant financial means typically don't work for their money. They own income-producing assets. As automation becomes more widespread, the ability to work becomes less valuable and owning assets become more crucial. The rapid advancements in AI and automation make the future unpredictable, but investors in these technology will likely find more profit in catering to other wealthy individuals similar to the video game industry model. Market trends already show this shift. AI isn't introducing a new world but continuing an existing trend where fewer people can afford many things. It's impossible to understand how money works to adopt this changing landscape. The broader economic trend shows that wealth is increasingly concentrated among asset owners, not workers. Rapid advancements in AI and automation are speeding up this shift. As work becomes less valuable, owning income, producing assets becomes crucial. The future is unpredictable but it's clear that those investing in AI and automation will benefit by catering to other wealthy individuals, similar to the video game industry's approach. There are more wealthy individuals than ever before, evident in the booming luxury market with high sales of $300,000 cars, luxury groceries, and private jets. 
the value of human labor has stagnated while asset values and credit availability have soared, benefiting those with investments. As robots replace more jobs, the value of human labor will drop further and asset values will rise, helping businesses owners and investors. This brings up discussions about Universal Basic Income or UBI, a government payment to everyone to cover basic living expenses. UBI, while proposed to address job loss from automation, creates a divide. People either rely on government support or own businesses and complain about the taxes funding that support. A recent UBI experiment in Texas and Illinois gave 1,000 people $1,000 a month, showing it could help maintain the economy if automation spreads. However, it's not an ideal solution. If full automation requires UBI, society will split into those dependent on aid and those benefiting from automation. While it's easier to sympathize with those on support, there are no true winners in this scenario. If you run an AI startup burning millions daily, one way to keep investor money coming is to stress how your tech might replace workers. This excites investors because they like the idea of cutting labor costs. A recent study, possibly a marketing stunt by a well-founded AI organization, has interesting results. The study found that people getting $1,000 a month earned less from jobs than those who didn't get the payment, though they had more total income. However, $1,000 isn't enough to live in America without other support. The study started at the beginning of COVID-19, which affected low-wage jobs due to lockdowns. Recipients of the subsidy often work less and spend more time on leisure and family, fitting the optimistic view of an AI future with universal basic income UBI. But financial struggles persisted. Mental health improved initially but worsened by the end of the first year and food security increased at first but then faced challenges as living costs rose. This shows UBI might help temporarily but isn't a long-term solution for financial stability as living costs rise. Moving to an automated future won't happen quickly. Outsourcing gradually turns cities into ghost towns without addressing big changes. Investors want an automated utopia, but others must ensure they aren't left out. That's it. Thank you for watching this video. Also, don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel.